Okay, so next I'm going to explain how to use the mesh here, which is going to be on the tab here. Uh, before I begin mesh, I'm going to just uh, briefly explain what I did so far before with the wire deformer. I connected uh, I connected the plane shape with the rotation here. So I have my base here go here there is going to be this plane shape which is going to be connected as a set driven key this is going to be the driven my rotation x is going to be my driver and i just connected them so whenever it, it moves it's going to match the proper plane shape and next i connected the rotation of this uh, geometry to to the lower here so that whenever I lower, whenever I move this one it's going to rotate together and even for the cylinder for the cylinder I use the set driven key to make it lower so I'm not going to explain everything about this again because I already did for in the wire deformer tank tread so I'm going to skip that part and I'm just going to focus on uh, creating the mesh so for now I'm going to delete this cube Geo, uh, geometry and for mesh you just need a shape of the tank tread and then what you have to do is create a cube and uh, I'll just demonstrate it with simple cube here and then what I have to do here is select a cube and then hit this uh, uh, mesh icon the first one once you do that it's for by a default setting it's going to create 10 mesh here and you can open the editor and you can select the mesh distribute here and then uh, we are going to use the curve here so uh, you can simply just add curve node and right now it doesn't know what curve to uh, be the tank trend so middle mouse the base here which is going to be the shape of this uh, tank tread and drag it into this uh, curve input curve section once you do that it's going to be connected and I don't want my cube to be spread it out like that so go to mesh distribute and uh, set my distance x to 0 go back to the curve and uh, for the step set this to one and uh, right now it's just 10 so I'm going to add more numbers this is going to be some you can add or yeah you can add numbers here to create more mesh here and what you can do here is a nice thing about this is you can go back to the original cube here shift H is going to be hidden by the way when as soon as you create a mesh and you can even shape it out from here to create some kind of shape of uh, the tank track and there is a lot of plenty more options here you can use you can create some uh, by the way this is going to be based on the animation time slider so if you want to control it with uh, the lure, what we did here, like this, whenever I select my lure and when I shift it, I want to make it move, then maybe you have to connect the connect the part. Uh, you have to set the animation speed to zero so that it's not going to be affected by the time slider, and you have to connect it with offset along curve which is going to be this however this is going to be set to 0 to 1 so what what I do is you can right mouse and go to set driven key but it's not going to show up here for some reason I'm not really sure how to set up this offset along curve in here so what I do here is I just set a simple key yeah it can be any frame it this is going to be based on the time slider so I'm going to change it to set driven key so go to node editor window node editor select my mesh 
curve uh, and yeah, click this input and output connection and uh, next actually yeah uh, right now it is selected with where is my mesh yeah I yeah I have my mesh here let me see okay maybe just select the mesh one here and click this input output connection and you you're going to see that there is going to be my mesh offset along curve set driven key I the animation uh, node here so what I'm doing here is I want to connect with my controller lower right so go here go to other and connect my lower to the input of my animation key here so now what I have to do is select my animation node and graph editor go to graph editor and right now I just have one key here select that key select the second icon and just middle mouse and drag it to uh, anywhere any place on the other empty space here so uh, when this is set to when my rule is set to zero I want this to be zero and when my rule is set to 360 degrees I want this to be one Okay, so it's going to be something looking like that, and I'm going to make this uh, pre cycle and even post cycle. So it's going to have some shape like this. And check it out with my lower here when I rotate this. Uh, unfortunately, it's rotating in the other side, in the other way. So go back, select my mesh curve. And instead of 360, I'm going to make it as a negative 360. And make sure that this everything is set to linear. Okay, now if you test it out, it's going to rotate exactly how it should work. Okay, so you can make a stop and a pause and a, uh, you can make a hold and uh, you can make it rule again in uh, some areas and by the way if you want to add my uh, tank thread or if you want some random geometry you can add more things here like for example if I want to add my sphere you can just select my mesh and there's going to be my re mesh repo you can just middle mouse and drag it in here and you can just drag it to the top then it's going to be changing with the geometry what I have if I want to see both or it maybe if I want to let me bring my uh, tank thread modeling I'll just drag it in here okay so this is my tank thread if I want to put that in you can simply just select this mesh repro tab and just middle mouse and drag it in here put it to the top and it's going to show up here you can rotate this 90 uh, rotate this to 90 and uh, yeah if you want to have like random or if you want to show all the geometry what you have in here you can simply uh, go to mesh and there's a mesh ID you can add into here so go here and add that and you can even simply add all those geometry into this uh, tank thread 